Okay, so this is very bittersweet, but we have to move out of our apartment next month. And this was not something that we expected. We truly believed that we would stay here for at least another year, if not another two years. We love our space. We've made it our own. We've done so many renovations to this house. We put a fence in the back and we put a little garden in the back. And we, we, we've gotten these, these things on top of the washer and the fridge to maximize the ceiling space. We redid this wall over here. See? We did the wall. Um, we've done so much, even this. Also built a cabinet. You see this cabinet in between the fridge and the counter over there? Also built that just to maximize the space that we had. So I had more, sorry, your, your swing. So I had more space to put all of my groceries and things like that. And yeah, we've done a lot to make this place our own and we're so proud of it and we love it so much and it just sucks because my landlord is put in a position that he has to give the apartment to someone else um the details aren't relevant to be honest basically long story short he must give someone else the apartment for his benefit and he doesn't want us to leave but he has he feels like he has no choice. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm sad, but I'm not because, like, I love new beginnings and I love starting over. Starting over. I love just, like, trying new things. But I'm sad because this place is really our home and this is where Diego grew up. And you guys might think I'm crazy, like a crazy dog mom, but, like, Diego loves it here, and if he loves it here, then I love it here. Anything that's good for him is good for me, so we're really close to the beach, and it's a really good price, and we have great neighbors, and we're on the ground floor, and it's just so many things that just make this really hard, a really hard situation and tough, but it's also something that I need to look at on the positive side that you know my landlord and who again is also my friend throughout this whole process um, he cares about us and he doesn't want us to be in a bad position he doesn't want to just throw us out on the street because technically our lease is up in about two weeks and he's giving us um, almost a month rent free and that is out of the kindness of his heart because he doesn't want us to, you know, leave on bad terms or anything like that. And he also wants to give us as much time as possible to find a new place. I'm just sad because finding a good apartment in Tel Aviv is really difficult. And all of the things that we bought for this apartment and the things that Ofer built, which is basically everything besides the couch um, and the closet that we just bought, we are probably going to sell and get rid of and you know i don't have many attachments to things but i just i look at diego as like my child and you guys probably think that i'm like a crazy dog mom i am a crazy dog mom <laughs> He just has so many memories here. And like, why am I crying? I don't even know why I'm crying. <laughs> okay, calm down, Sam. So, <sighs> so I know that it's gonna be fine. Like, I know it is. I'm so thankful that I have a loving and amazing partner to do this with and He's so level-headed and so stable. And I'm over here at Crazy Dog Mom. <laughs> and yeah, I know that Diego will adapt and I know that everything will be okay. But it's just a small place here. It's a small area. And right now there's no apartments for rent that are even that we like we are like i think three apartments in the whole neighborhood and i went and i saw the one and 
it was so terrible like wow really 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 bad so I know it's not going to be you know at the snap of a finger we'll find our apartment but I do know that the universe is always looking out and I think I think the idea that I had behind this video before I spoke with my landlord was just to trust the universe and put your desires out there and the universe will answer and I've been so 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 lucky to live in the same area for almost seven years and you know I I put my desires out there and the universe always always answers like I'm really 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 thankful and I have so much gratitude for that so as tough as this is I'm also trying to be optimistic and look at it in a positive way because you know at the end of the day life goes on it's just an apartment it's not that big of a deal but it is emotional and I probably will cry again at some point throughout this process but We kind of felt in our hearts that it might be time for us to move and maybe start somewhere new in general, like a new location, but I'm just having a hard time leaving, leaving this area, leaving this location. I love it here and my closest friends are here and the sea, the sea is like my medicine. I just love it so much and yeah, it just it just really stinks. But again, it's okay. Everything is going to be okay. This video is more for me than it is for anyone else. But I appreciate you so, 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 so much for watching because this, this connection is what keeps me going. And as silly as it sounds like I know there is somebody else on the other side of this that is listening and maybe they resonate a little bit with this and you know this this strikes a chord with them and they're inspired in some way so I just want to say thank you thank you to everyone everyone who watches my videos everyone who supports me everyone who comments and likes, I know that that is time out of your day and I really, truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And although this channel, you know, is quite small still, I know that in a few years I will look back on this video and I will see how much I've grown and I'm excited for that. You know, I'm trying to live in the present moment, but I am excited for that. I'm excited to to look back on these times and to see how much you know my boyfriend and I have grown and the next chapter that's going to be in our lives I think that this is the universe telling us that you know there is something else something bigger than us in store for us and I'm excited I'm excited so I think that's everything just wanted to update you guys I wanted to get that off my chest I really felt like I needed to tell someone whoever is on the other side thank you for listening so I just want you to know that if you're going through a hard time make sure that you trust the process trust the universe put your desires out there and take inspired action because the universe is always listening always 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 listening so with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.